Hi, this is Nicholas Bell with Ion Cinema, here to review Wrong Turn, directed by Mike P. Nelson, which is being released courtesy of Saban Films, February 23rd, 2021. Uh, so, of course, uh, this is a reboot uh, of the Wrong Turn franchise, uh, which uh, initially starred Eliza Dushku and spawned six sequels. Um, this is not a sequel, it, it is a reboot and uh, has been uh, rewritten by the initial screenwriter, uh, Alan McElroy, who also wrote Halloween 4, uh, and has a lot of surprising and interesting things going for it. Uh, so I think if you're a fan of the Wrong Turn franchise, you're definitely going to want to check it out. Uh, and of, of course, the uh, 70s era grindhouse horror cinema that uh, McElroy was initially paying homage to, like Wes Craven and Toby Hooper. Uh, all of those elements are still there, but there's a lot more complexity. Uh, it starts out with a uh, Matthew Modine is Scott, this uh, father who's looking for his daughter, Jen, played by Charlotte Vega, who went missing six weeks earlier. Doesn't look good. Uh, she and a group of five other friends, including her boyfriend Darius, uh, went on a hike on the Appalachian Trail in Virginia and never returned. Uh, but then the uh, film flashes back to those six weeks and we see uh, three sets of couples. Um, that uh, are led by Darius, Jen's boyfriend, and they are uh, attempting to revisit historical landmarks uh, from the Civil War period um, in Korsgoth Trail and stumble into a bunch of uh, uh, traps that are held there and then they become uh, kidnapped after a very violent uh, altercation with a group of secretive people known as the Foundation. And it turns out the, the Foundation, which is led by John Venable, played by Bill Sage, uh, are, uh, go date back to, in the Civil War era, uh, people that wanted to neither fight for the North or the South, uh, but wanted to keep their livelihoods and kind of squirrel themselves away into the woods uh, to have their own community and culture, to speak their own language. Uh, and it turns out, of course, that, you know, they weren't intending on killing everybody. They're just very protective of their community. Uh, so it becomes a, a unique take on uh, the violence of uh, Americans in response to uh, everything when it's really a, a cultural misunderstanding, if you will. Uh, more violence ensues. Uh, there are some uh, narrative ticks that you can predict, but it's very uh, uniquely satisfying in, in a way that... Uh, uh, is, is surprising for a film that has a, a franchise with six films and a reboot and you think you know what you're going to expect and it, it luckily has the uh, audacity to play with those expectations. Uh, as I said, Charlotte Vega is uh, very interesting. Um, there's a character named Edith, played by Daisy Head, who has this nice Bell Powley energy. Uh, Bill Sage, uh, who you might recognize from his many films as character actor, including the We Are What We Are remake or in Greg Araki's Mysterious Skin. Um, Daniel R. Hill, who is, uh, can also be seen in the upcoming Cherry, uh, is in it. Uh, I was reminded of uh, Nothing But Trouble in the Vulcanvania segment uh, in the uh, kind of vigilante justice of this community, M. Night Shyamalan to the village. All of those things are kind of swirled there into this interesting pot uh, of a film. Overall, I would give this Wrong Turn reboot 3 out of 5 stars. Thank you. Hey, this is Eric from MyOwnCinema.com. If you want to support us, subscribe below. For more reviews, interviews, film festival coverage from Sundance, Cannes, Toronto, you want to check out these guys on this side.